light root fixed at one end to a wooden plank on the ground, passes over a tree branch and hangs at the other side. It makes an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. A man weighing 60 kg climbs up the rope. The wooden plank can bear vertical force of up to 360 newton. Find the maximum acceleration in the upward directions with which the man can climb safely. The friction of pulley and wooden clamp may be ignored. Here, the situation is shown. This clamp can bear maximum force in this direction, and that is equal to the given 60, sorry, 360 neutron. Tension in the string is T. This is also T. And man is climbing with acceleration A. So, tension due to his motion will be equal to his weight plus mass into acceleration with which he is climbing. So we can say T is equal to mg plus ma and tension here this force is given as 360 Newton and this is equal to T sine theta because T cross theta will act in this direction. So T sine theta T sine 30 degree equal to 360 sine 30 degrees half, then T will be equal to 720 Newton. So we put this value here, 720 equal to mass of minus 60, G is 10, 60 into 8. This will be 600, this is 720, so 120 equal to 60 times A. So A will be equal to 2 meter per second square. Now going to the second question. Three blocks of masses M1, M2, and M3 are connected as shown in the figure. All the surfaces are frictionless and the strings and the pulleys are light. Find the acceleration of mass M1. This is mass M1, which is moving in this direction. And this is mass M2, this is mass M3. The whole system moves in this direction. So this pulley descends downward and uh, this mass moves up, this mass moves down. But acceleration A0 will be larger than the acceleration A. So motion of mass M2 we consider. So it is ascending upward with acceleration A and uh, acceleration A0 is downward. So net acceleration downward for mass M2 will be A0 minus A and this mass is going downward. So net acceleration for this will be equal to A0 plus A. Now, let's write the equations. For this, we write M1 A0 equals T. And uh, at this point, we write T is equal to twice of T1. So we put this value here. So M1 A0 equal to twice of T1. So we can get the value of T1 as M1A0 divided by 2. Suppose this is equation number 1. Now we consider the motion of M2. So M2A minus A0. Sorry, it's reverse. M2A0 minus A is equal to M2G downward, M2G minus extension. T1 upward. We can put the value of T1 here. So M2 A0 minus A equal to M2G minus M1 A0 divided by A2. Suppose this is equation number 2. Now we consider the motion of block M3. So M3G is acting downward and tension is acting upward and the net motion is downward. So M3 times A0 plus A. We put the value of T1 here also. So this will become M3G minus M1 A0 divided by 2 equal to M3 A0 plus A. This is equation number 4. Now, From here and from here, 
we can get the equation a0 minus a from here. So it will be equal to, we are going to divide each term by m2. So we will be left with g minus m1 upon m2 times a0 divided by 2. And from this, if we divide each term by m3, so we will be left with a0 plus a. This will become g minus m1 upon m3 a0 upon 2. Now, we can add the two equations. So when we add, what do we get? On adding, we will get 2a0 equal to 2g minus within bracket m1 upon m2 a0 upon 2 plus m1 upon m3 a0 upon 2. So we can write further a0 equal to g minus let's divide each term by 2 and we take out a0 upon 2 outside so this will become a0 upon m1 upon m2 plus m1 upon m3. Now m1 can also be taken out. So a0 equal to g minus a0 m1 divided by 4 1 upon m1 plus 1 upon M3. Now let's proceed. So we take this term to LHS A0 plus a0 upon 4 m1 times 1 upon m1 plus 1 upon m3 must be equal to g. Let's take out a0. 1 plus m1 upon 4 times 1 upon m1 plus 1 upon m3 which is equal to g. Our concern is to get a0. So a0 equal to g divided by 1 plus m1 upon 2 times 1 upon m1 plus 1 upon m3. And that is our answer. Thank you for watching.